Anyone who's ever even heard of evolution before has almost certainly seen a diagram like this one, where you have some sort of monkey that just levels up into a human. As someone who studies evolution for a living, I hate diagrams like this. They are the worst. Let's go over several reasons why. First of all, this type of diagram was first developed back in the 1960s by a guy by the name of Rudolf Zallinger. It was meant for popular science writing just to sort of give people a general idea of what scientists were actually saying. This was not meant to be anything actually educational. And yet, it is used in educational publications all the time. And that's really dumb, because it promotes orthogenesis. This promotes the idea that humans evolved on purpose, that there's some sort of grand goal for evolution, that evolution is some sort of ladder, with a top rung up here that is humans, and that all the other apes are just kind of waiting in line, hoping to become human someday. That makes no sense. None of that is how anything works. Also, this type of misinformation breeds more misinformation. Because I get asked all the time, well, if this thing's still alive, and this thing's still alive, where's all the stuff in the middle? This thing isn't alive. They made it look like something that you can recognize to kind of help you understand it, and they've actually hurt you. Because this isn't alive. Whatever this is supposed to represent, Sacalanthropus, Orin, or whatever, that's also dead. All of these are dead except for this thing, and there's also like 10,000 steps in the middle that they didn't include, and there's also things that broke off, and there's also things that broke off and then came back, and they just decided not to put any of that in there because they wanted to make it look like it was something purposeful and intentional when it's not. And the biggest problem about this is that this kind of nonsense breeds distrust about evolution. Because people look at this and they say, I didn't come from this chimpanzee or spider monkey or whatever they put in the background here. And you're right, because chimpanzees and spider monkeys and all that stuff, they're actually up here on the front with us. They came from this thing too, and they have a different trajectory with all sorts of other steps and all sorts of other branching and ramifications and all that you're not seeing because they just left it off because they wanted it to be human focused. Saying that this is how evolution works is like saying World War II was a serious disagreement. It leaves so much out that it's not even useless anymore. It's actually harmful. So if you ever see something like this in one of your textbooks or something, call your local evolutionary biologist so that we can scream about it because nobody deserves to have to suffer through this.